I remembered seeing this clip years ago and the clip that I'm referring to is the one that I will link to below it's uh, on Dick Cavett's show when he when he had a TV show in the 70s and his hosts are John Lennon and Yoko Ono now I'm not a big fan of um, John Lennon's solo efforts particularly not his song Imagine um, I have mixed feelings about John Lennon actually uh, I, I, there, there, are, there are things about him that I that I like, and things about him that I definitely don't like. Uh, I do think he was talented, um, but I, what I will say about this clip is uh, that it will blow your mind when you see it, because um, John and Yoko are asked a question about overpopulation and the encroaching problem of the problem of overpopulation. And they, they're both, uh, they both emphatically uh, reject the notion of overpopulation, particularly John. He, he, he um, insists uh, quite strongly that overpopulation is a myth. And that, the, you know, the earth will, uh, th that, that uh, well, I mean, everything that you, everything that you uh, can see, I've talked about, Thomas Malthus and, and how he was proven wrong and how all these dire uh, predictions about how you know if there's more people then the resources will be scarce and then people will, will die because of hunger because there's not enough resources in the world to, uh, to, uh, to feed them. When people die of hunger it's not because there's not enough resources in the world to feed them. Um, I'm not denying that hunger and starvation uh, haven't happened. Of course they've happened. They've happened in places like Ukraine, where the country was deliberately starved. And they've happened for more complicated reasons other places, but not because the, the Earth is overpopulated. So, anyway, I find this very... I just find it interesting, um, and I think you will too, that, uh, that John Lennon and even Yoko, you know, and I understand... I understand the popular sentiment against Yoko, and uh, you know I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not I'm not taking up for her. Uh, but in in this clip, they both come across as people who are, uh, you know, it, by today's standards, like wow, this is this is directly going against the edicts of the ruling class and the the kinds of. Um, notions that they're trying to seed into our minds of course the bill gateses of the world and and all of their cronies uh who just say we're just there's just too many people out there we've got to we, we've got to contracept uh, all of africa and uh you know we've 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 got a zero population growth and blah 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 you know and of course of course i was at the georgia guidestones the other day y'all remember that 500 million that's what they want. 500 million people on the earth. I, I've, I've really harped on this point, I know, but some of you are tired of hearing me talk about it. But, uh, I mean, it's right there set in stone. They want to reduce the earth's population by by uh, by billions and billions of people. What are they going to... How are they going to do that? How are they going to... Um, is there going to be... Is that is that going to come about through some uh, benevolent voluntary effort? Um, and it's, th th are they not going to, uh, do violence to anybody? Well, they have, they're already doing violence to people, you know, I mean, just look up what, uh, Bill Gates and his, uh, all of his, um, well, I should, probably shouldn't be too explicit about it here, but, uh, look at some of the things that, are, that have been going on, uh, with certain, um, campaigns, certain efforts, particularly in third world countries, um, uh, and what's what's been the upshot of that? What's been the result of that? Anyway, it's very it's just my, my main my main reason for recording this video is it's just very interesting to see a uh, somebody who today would be thought of as you know uh, so uh, um, a man of the left you know very much of the left who was hated by uh, conservatives and right wingers at the time and you know thought of as a dirty hippie and peacenik and all that uh, to see somebody uh, to see him uh, speaking up very strongly. Uh, against one of one of the, if not the, 
sacred cow uh, of today uh, amongst the elites and their um, and their cronies overpopulation so check it out and see for yourself and let me know what you think